Hello. The tutorial is about making this uh, phone cover. Let's say I've got this uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 and I'm looking for something to cover it, a cover for my phone and I didn't want to spend money like that. So I'm just going to make myself a lovely phone cover and uh, for this project I chose a uh, brown color yarn and I'm using 4mm hook but I'm just I'm gonna do something like double this but I haven't got plenty of brown yarn at home so I'm going to pull up the bottom of it and double use it double I mean use the two strands together for this project I'm using 4mm hook and uh, measured my phone is six inches I mean five and a bit not up to, let's just say five uh five point five and three inches so I'm going to be ch chaining okay I'm using a double crochet for this project and I'm going to chain ten one two so tight very bad so one two three three four five six seven eight nine ten go into the second chain from hook and do a half double crochet yarn over go into in the pull up a loop that's a half double crochet then do seven more half double crochet and then into the next chain so seven more half double crochet then you have you should have one left one well, that's one two Seven. Yeah, you should have one left. The remaining one, you do three half double crochet there. Three in the last one. One. Two. Oops. A bit. One more. We're going to be walking round. Turn your work over and uh, turn your work and walk across opposite side of 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 the foundation chain, which is this one. We're going to be walking this this side. We're going to be walking here down this this line. So we're going to walk across the opposite side of the, our foundation row. So single crochet in next. I mean, we're going to be doing a half double crochet in the next seven half double crochet. So yarn over, go here. One, two, three. Seven. So now we've done the seven. We're now going to do two half double crochet in the last stitches. Two half double crochet in the last stitches. That's it. This is what it looks like now. This is what our work looks like. see what this looks like that is it now for our row 2 to 13 we're going to do half double crochet 
in each round we're just going to follow that from our row two now this will be our row two this is next row so you're going to be working round round just like that so you're going to do half double crochet round you continue doing that for from row two to twelve so let's go and do that and see you at the end of row twelve now I've completed my row 12 and I'm halfway through through this phone cover. And uh, now I'm going to do for the row 13, do the same half double crochet round and slip stitch in the last half double crochet. And I'll meet you at the end of the row to tell you what to do next. Now we've completed the row setting. Now, though you've uh, you've slip stitch into the top of this, the last one, but don't fasten up yet because we're going to continue from there. Now we're going to do the ribbon, which is the top part. You now need to chain five. Then for your row one, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. For your row one do a half double crochet in the second chain from hook and in the next three uh, and in the next three let's do a half double crochet into the second chain from hook to the for this project you can also use a, a double crochet and a single crochet depending on what you like, what stitch you like most. Depending on what you like and the kind of stitch you like. Me, I prefer using a um, half double crochet for this project. I like it. I like how double crochet, half double crochet looks. I love it in hats as well. Just making it. Now, complete tether. Now for the row 2, we need to single crochet and slip stitch in next to 2 half double crochet of the last round which is the row 13. We slip stitch in the next 2 half double crochet which is here. Of that last round which is, you slip stitch in, into the 2 the next two half double crochet of the the last round which is row 13 then turn as we've got four half double crochet here now we turn for our row two see do half double crochet in back loop of next four half double crochet chain one turn so we're going to do the the same thing we do have double crochet in the back loop which is here back loop we do four half double crochet it's only going to be in the back loop so you don't do the two stitches together it's only the back loop here that's two that's three and four chain one and turn turning and for your row three do a half double crochet in the back loop of next four half double crochet slip stitch in next two half double crochet of the last round row 13. now we're going to do a back loop again into the four half double crochet then slip stitch into the next two half double crochet of the the last round of row 13 so we're going to continue like that just watching 
Be careful not to miss the road. And if not to miss stitches. Let's go into. It says we should. For that row three, it says we should slip stitch in the next half, two half double crochet of, of the last round, which is our last rotating of this one. We're going to slip stitch into two, two half double crochet. We slip stitch into two half double crochet on the last rotating. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's looking beautiful though. So for our row four, for row, row 4 to 17, repeat that same thing. Repeat 1, 3, 4, and row 13. You row 2 says you single crochet in the back loop of 4, half double crochet, chain 1 turn. For your row 3, it says see, half double crochet in back loop of next half double crochet, slip stitch in next 2 half double crochet of round 13. So I'm going to do one with us. So for now, we're going to repeat our row 2. We do have double crochet. Now we turn, we turn this last row, which is our row 3. Then we do a back loop. Half double crochet in the back loop of 4. This, the, the ribbon. With the 4 half double crochet. We chain 1. And turn. Chain 1. Turn it. And we are doing row 3 now. For row 3, you do the same thing. You go here. You do half double crochet. You go into the back. We're going to be using back loop now. So we get to 17 till now this is the fourth one then we're now going to slip stitch into two half double crochet from the row 13 and slip stitch now we've completed we've done two rows now which is four and five for our row six we're just gonna turn and do a half double crochet in the back loop again. I'm just going through this with us then so we don't we don't mix it. So this is the second one I'm doing with you then. Then I'm I'm going to go off the camera. Then we we'll see at the end of row 17. Now you're going to chain one and turn and do the same thing. Do back loop, half double crochet into the four half double crochet. Then you now slip stitch into the two half double crochet from the last round. So we're just trying to establish more rows by slip by slip stitching into the last row of rotating. So you just slip stitch. So that's it. So let's continue, and I'll see you at the end of row seventeen. Yeah. I had to do row 19 because when I started, my stitches was 20 after my row 1. So I had to do like 19. So the the, the space between this row 1 and row 2, I mean, and the row 19 will now be your row 20, which is stitched together. So I'm going to use my crochet again. I slip stitch. I'm going to slip stitch. I'm not going to use needle. I want to use, oh no, I think needle will be better. Let me try if I can use this. Then you just sew up the hand of you just sew up the space. That's what you need to do. And that's all. Okay, let me try the phone. Let me try it. So you, this is your phone case. Yeah. It's beautiful and this is just what I want. I don't want it to to cover the whole body of my phone, but just see. Okay. Isn't this beautiful? So just sew at the end of it, this this space between the two rows, just sew it up and fasten it. That's your, your phone case, isn't that sweet? Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye!